Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce CRM series. In this video, I will be showing you how to implement round robin based lead assignment rules. So let's get started. So round robin, how it works. So it assigns equal amount of work to each and every person and then it is start assigning again from the top. So if you have, let's say two agents in your org who are looking towards the lead. So first it's gonna assign one one item to both the agents then it will start again from the top okay so let's see how we can implement this kind of algorithm in our salesforce so <coughs> this lead uh, assignment uh, i'm gonna do so i'll just go to object manager so few things we need to configure first so first i'll go to lead object so here we need to implement two fields First is to capture the lead number that would be the auto number field. So as soon as a lead is created, the uh, a number will be generated automatically for that lead. Then we are going to create a formula field which, uh, which is basically uh, we are going to use to uh, identify the, uh, the number, round robin number based upon that we are going to assign the lead to some agent using the assignment tool. So let me just create the first auto number field. So I'm giving it a name as lead number and display format I'm just keeping as single digit starting from one. Click next, making it visible to all. Save and new. Okay. Now another field we need to create that would be the type of formula field, which is basically uh, is going to do some calculation and based upon that it's gonna uh, it's, it's gonna be used in the assignment tools. Okay, so I'm just uh, providing it a name as round robin. Okay, and uh, the type I'm selecting as number with uh, no decimal points okay click next so now we need to create the uh, formulas what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make use of mod operator mod function so i'll just select it and uh, so i i need to give a number and a divisor so in the number i am gonna use the value function and inside the value function i'll just use our field lead number okay so we have created lead number field and uh, in place of divisor i'm gonna provide <coughs> the number of agents that we have so in this org i can only create two agents because it's a developer edition also only two licenses i have so the number of agents you have in your organization on which you want to apply this round robin that you need to provide here. So I have two agents, I'm providing two and ultimately plus one, okay? So let's uh, verify the syntax. It is well and good. I'm gonna treat blank field as zeros. Click next, making it visible to everybody and save. Okay, now two fields we have created lead number and round robin value. Okay, so let me uh, show you some examples for this uh, uh, round robin uh, field which we have created. So you will get an idea what uh, we are talking here. Okay, so we have uh, this formula. So I'll just put it here. So as you can see, I have already added some of the uh, mod values for us that we can use inside this formula. So let's say case one, where uh, lead number is equal to one. So that is our first lead in our call. So in that case, uh, what would be the, uh, this is the round robin formula. So let's try to calculate the value of this. So in this, our, in our first case, 
So mod of value of lead number is one, comma two, and plus one. So that would be mod of one comma two is one. So one plus one equals to two. Okay. And how <coughs> we are going to use? We are directly going to use this uh, round robin value for our assignment. So how I am going to configure the assignment tools? If it is equals to one, then assign to a agent, and uh, if it is equals to two, then assign the lead to B agent. So that's how why that's how I'm gonna do it. Now let's try this thing for case two, where it is a second lead. So it mod it would be mod two comma two. So as you can see, mod two comma two value is zero. Okay, so it would be. Zero plus one equals to one. So as you can see, first it is assigning the case to agent number two. Then it is assigning the case to agent number one. Now this is this has happened for two agents. So it has assigned one one lead to agents. Okay. Now let's let's pick the lead number three. Now let's see what it does. Whether it assigns to agent number one or agent number two. Okay. So. Mod of three comma two, that is again one. So one plus one, that is two. So as you can see, now it is starting from the top again. So in the top, it has assigned the lead to agent number two. After the assignment of one one leads to both the agents, it is starting from the agent number two. Now, if you will see uh, for the lead number four. Mod of four comma two that is going to be zero, and zero plus one is one. So it is taking this same path again. That means it is equally distributing the amount of work, and then it is starting again from the top. And similar way, it is assigned. It is assigning the leads to the agents. So we have seen how this uh, uh, formula is going to work. Now let's go back to our work and let's define the Lead assignment rules. So I'll just go to lead assignment rules. Under the standard rules, I'll just click new. And two rules I already have, so I'm giving the order as three. So criteria I'm giving. <coughs> Round robin field on the lead equals to one. Okay, so in that case, I am using my user as the agent. So to me, it will be assigned. Okay, click save and new. Now this is going to be the fourth order of uh, assignment tool. I am using round robin field again equals to value two. Okay. And the agent would be agent two. Click save. So we have created two assignment tools based upon these values because we are only getting one or two because we have only two agents. That's how we have implemented the formula field. So either we are going to get the value one or we are going to get value two in this round robin field. So for that we have created the assignment tools. Okay, if it is equals to one, then it will assign to me. If it is equals to, then it will assign to agent two. Okay, so <coughs> now all the configurations are done. We have created a lead number field, a round robin field, and assignment rules. Now it's time to test our working. Okay, so I'll just refresh this page once, and I'll click a new to create a new lead here. So let let me give the name as lead one. Okay, and I need to set, check it. This assign using active assignment tool. Okay, click save. So let's see some of the details in our fields. What we are getting. So this is the first lead. So that's why the lead number is one. That is automatically is generating. That is auto number field. And for that round robin value is two. So we can see for the lead number one round robin value should be two. And what is the second agent? Okay. So I'll just refresh it once. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so it is not assigning the lead to agent. Let's see where we are going wrong. Okay, assignment to not working. Okay, let's try another lead. You will get to know something. Okay, lead to also created, but it is not going anywhere. So what we can do if you find something like this, try doing deactivate and activate of the assignment rule. Okay, I am first deactivating it and I'm gonna activate it again. In some cases it works. Okay, so let's go back and let me just delete these leads. Okay, let's just refresh and try again. Lead one, click save. So if it is one, then it will go to me. So that is, we will have to check for lead two whether the assignment is working properly or not. So I think so it does have the number four down to the value one. And for one, it will go to me. That is fine. Then we have lead number one. <coughs> Where we have round robin value two. So ideally, it should go to agent two. It is not going. Then let's see what else we can do. Okay, let's try to reorder it. Maybe that works. Click reorder. Let me deactivate it again. And let's activate it back. Okay. Okay, try. Let's try log out and log in back. Maybe that works. <laughs> okay i get it why it's not working so i believe we need to check for the for both of the users whether they are having uh okay i am having the lead access but uh, we need to make sure for this user whether okay this is also system admin so it should be having but uh, let's just verify okay so lead level security is fine that's thing So leads we have all the access available that is also fine then <coughs> so let's go back to our sales and let's try it again so lead one lead two we have already created let's create lead three Yeah, so now it is working. Okay, so let's see the case. So 
so this is the fifth lead we have created okay so order number at assigned the lead number is five and uh, the round robin calculation in that case so if it is five then it would be one the mod of five comma two would be one and one plus one equals to two so round robin value is calculating perfectly fine and for two round robin value two it should go to agent two okay so it is be uh, it is a little bit confused confusion here so let's just create everything and let's test it again all right so everything is created but we know that uh, auto number has assigned the number fifth so we are gonna use the new lead as the sixth number okay click save so first it has come the value says so round robin value is one so for one it should assign to me only okay that is fine it is assigned to me only now let's create lead number seven save now here we have round robin value is 2. So for round, round robin value 2, it should assign to agent 2. So it is assigning to agent 2, that is also fine. Now let's create lead number 8. Now, uh, what we are seeing that uh, it has assigned lead number 7 to Abhishek and lead number 6 to agent 2. Now the side 2 should be reversed from the top. So now lead number 8 should be assigned to Abhishek. So let's save it. Click the test. Let's just refresh it. So as you can see, the lead is assigned to Abhishek and the round robin value is 1. That is fine. Perfectly fine. Now let's try with the lead number 9. Now it should go to agent 2. Okay. So if that is working, that means our round robin implementation is working. So as you can see, it is going to agent 2 where round robin value is 2. Okay, so that means our round robin based assignment tools are working perfectly fine. Okay, so that's how you implement the round robin based lead assignment tools. Let me uh, recap with the steps that we have gone through. First, we have created two fields on lead object. One is for lead number, that is the auto number. Okay, so we have created this lead number field. Then we created round robin field which is having the formula of mod of value of lead number comma the number of agents that uh, you are uh, going to apply this round robin algorithm to so in our case we had two agents so i provided two plus one okay once that is done we created two assignment rules okay two lead assignment rules we have created based upon the round robin value so whether uh, when it is one then it will go to agent one and when it is two it will go to agent two similarly if you have let's say five agents so for one two three four five for five values we are going to assign to five agents okay so five assignment tools are going to be in place in that scenario then we tested out the flow how the lead is being assigned to agents based upon the round robin algorithm so that's how you implement the round robin algorithm uh, for lead assignment tools in Salesforce. That was all about this video. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe the channel as Abhishek Bhagirwal. Thank you.